Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to a Friday morning. It's the 26th day of April. I'm Joe Kelly. Jana is late again. It's a get organized day today. Hug a friend day. Help a horse day. When was the last time you helped a horse, huh? It's a pretzel day. Static cling day. And kids and pets day. So if you don't really uh, post photos of your kids and pets on Facebook today, do you really love them? It's Cat Country 107.3. Mornings with Joe and Jana. Lots of excitement on Cat Country 107.3. We've got Cash Cow continuing today. Ten more chances to win the free money up to ten or up to thirty thousand dollars. Your first snag at a, a, a chance to snag cash is at eight twenty this morning. Looking ahead to, we also have Tim McGraw tickets. By the way, we'll give away sometime this morning. And looking ahead to Monday, we've got Kenny Chesney tickets on Morning Trivia Monday, just after seven thirty. And also Monday, we start trying to give away a trip to see Luke, Luke Holmes, Holmes in Phoenix. Good morning. We're Joe and Jonna here to know this morning. A Millville man arrested after a stabbing inside the showboat in Atlantic City Wednesday night. 20-year-old Marquise Cotman of Millville charged with aggravated assault. Mm. The man he reportedly stabbed was bleeding heavily when police arrived. That man was taken to the hospital. He's expected to survive his wounds. Mm-mm. Well, that's good at least. Store officials are saying that the Goodwill store in Egg Harbor Township will reopen next month in May. The store was the scene of a fire back in January. No one was injured, thank God, but the fire destroyed all the all the store's merchandise. In the first round of the NFL draft last night with the 22nd pick, the Philadelphia Eagles selected Quinion Mitchell, a cornerback from Toledo. Nice. South Jersey weather, sunny in 58 today. Coming up, Cash Cow is up for grabs. Everything you need to know to win the cash about 10 minutes away. On Cat Country 107.3 on the night shift. Good morning. It's time now for Jana's fangirl update. Reba McIntyre, that's who we're talking about this morning. She's going to return to host the ACM Awards in 2024, the Academy of Country Music. They revealed the news yesterday. Reba's set to host the award show for the 17th time in her career. If you're like, oh, wow, that is a lot. Yeah, it is a lot because it marks the largest number of times any artist has served as a host for the show. She's marking the occasion, too. In true Reba style, she's going to hit the stage to perform some new music for us. Everything we know about this year's ACM Awards is up for you now at CatCountry1073.com. Can't wait to see Reba do that. She's going to be great, as usual. Colt Ford, we got to move along this morning. He's was supposed to be a barefoot this year. Not happening probably now. He delivered an emotional video message to fans this week. He, he was almost breathless. Um... But it's it's serving as good news, kind of as good as a good news, like bad news health update. He's still alive. He says he's di- he died multiple times as the emergency teams rushed to find him the proper medical care. He had so much trauma in his body. He said that Brantley Gilbert has been by his side the entire time, but he did promise fans that he will be back. So he is pushing. He is fighting. And we've got that video up for you right now on the Cat Country 107.3. Country 107.3. Mornings with Joe and John. It's Friday morning. That means a free speech Friday. We're going to open up the phone lines now for your free speech Friday comments. It's 609-383-1073. Here's how it works. You call us and we put you on the air for 10 seconds to say anything you want. Anything you want. And we really do mean anything. However. You can't swear. Yes. You can't slander anyone by name and no. you can't talk politics. Doesn't mean you can't slander anyone. You just can't mention <laughs> their names. 609-383-1073. I, I think by definition, though, slander needs somebody's name, but well, I know, that's I know true. what you mean. Yeah. But you can, like, you can yeah. call. So if you want to promote your business, whatever you'd like to do, we'll give you 10 seconds to do it. 609-383-1073. Or if you feel more comfortable, you can open up the Cat Country 107.3 app, hit the uh, pull-down menu, and select Joe and Jana's voicemail, and you can record your 10 seconds there and send it to us. Either way, Free Speech Either way. Friday. Hit the app or 609-383-107.3. Mornings with Joe and Jana. Big shout out to Sydney from Sweetwater. She's on the Fox TV show Farmer Wants a Wife. They had another episode last night. And guess where they were? They were in Sweetwater. Yep. Uh, Mitchell, the farmer, came home to meet Sydney's family, including her dad, Chuck. Mm-hmm. Her dad's... Uh, her dad's a great South Jersey guy. How's that? How's that? To that's say that's it? the way to put it. And and there was some there was some anticipated friction that really didn't happen. In the end, uh, it, it it seemed like a dad accepted Mitchell the farmer. He even said, "I think if I was a little younger, I might make a pitch for him for me." Uh, <laughs> he, was, he was joking, of course, but that's funny. they got along pretty well. We've got the story good. at catcountry1073.com. Sydney just one step away from winning the uh, national TV. Uh, 
Cat Country 107.3 Mornings with Joe and John. I time now for your Cat Country Joke of the Morning. Tom Inventor has sent us the joke we're going to use on this Friday. Thank you, Tom. Tom, you're the best. Thank you. I used to date a woman who was a cannibal. Ew. But I showed up late for dinner one time and she gave me the cold shoulder. <laughs> uh, but, uh, <laughs> who shoulders anymore. the question? It wasn't warm anymore. Lady A and Hey Bartender at Cat Country 107.3. Mornings with Joe and John. It's Friday. And then it's on Friday, we usually have a season of the deal going live. And we have a brand new one going live today. It's for the restaurant PJ Buckets, famous for their seafood boils. They're in Ventnor in Ocean City. So good. They're going to go live at 9 o'clock this morning at SeizeTheDeal.com. You'll be able to get a $50 gift certificate for just $25. That's a really sweet deal. It starts at 9 a.m. It won't last long at SeizeTheDeal.com. Cat Country 107.3 Mornings with Joe and Jonna. Time now for your Cat Country Dumb Story of the Morning. Are we going anywhere? London, England. A man had to be rescued after setting the front of his house on fire. Why do you do that? Firefighters say the man had been trying to set fire to a spider as it crawled up the front of his property. Sparks reached material behind the insulation of his home and caused a fire within the walls. That you were spread, that scared of a fire? It spread and burned his house down. Or you were that scared of a... a spider. Of a spider? A spider, yeah. I don't know if I would set fire to one. He did. That's why he's in the... Of course, we got that $30,000 top prize hanging out there. Your first chance to play and win cash cow coming up at 8.20 this morning. In the meantime, tonight's another edition of Free Speech Friday. We give you 10 seconds on the radio to say anything you want, as long as you don't swear, slander anyone by name, or talk politics. If you'd like your 10 seconds of Free Speech Friday, we'll put you on the radio. Call me at 609-383-1073. That's 609-383-1073. Or if you prefer, you can go to the Cat Country 107.3 app from the pull-down menu. There's a little thing that says that Joe and Jonna's voicemail. You could record and send us your 10 seconds of Free Speech Friday. Either way works. Good morning. We're three things you need to know this morning. A Millville man arrested after a stabbing inside the showboat in Atlantic City Wednesday night. 20-year-old Marquise Cotman of Millville charged with aggravated assault. The man who was stabbed bleeding heavily when police arrived on the scene. That man was taken to the hospital. He's expected to survive his wounds. Well, that's good at least. We'll say goodbye to a 60-year-old business in Egg Harbor Township. It's closing on Saturday, closing time for good, too. For the Tilton Inn, the business is up for sale. No word on a prospective buyer yet. Robo Burger, the Jersey City-based company that produces burger-making vending machines, what, has landed a $1.5 million deal on Shark Tank. Ooh. The three co-founders demonstrated their vending machine that makes customized burgers within minutes to Shark Tank's panel. Mm -hmm. Panel members were skeptical at first, but in the end, two investor judges put up the $1.5 million dollars for a 9% stake in the company. South Jersey weather sunny and 58 today. Coming up, cash cow, everything you need to know to win up to 30 grand in 10 minutes. It's Cat Country 107.3. Joe and Jonna, Cat Country wanting birthday shout outs start right now. We got a shout out a birthday for today. Jay DeMarcus of Rascal Flats, who we still love so much. He is 53 today. So happy birthday. Jay. And of course, do you want me to do tomorrow's yet or no? We're not going to be here tomorrow. Deal. You might as well do it now. Yeah, you're right. So John Osborne of the Brothers Osborne, he's going to be 40, 42 tomorrow. So happy birthday. Happy birthday to Vicki Branca of Egg Harbor Township. And Matthew Blaker of Seaville is 24 today. Tom Katansky Jr. of Estelle Manor is 29. Mariska Oldenberger of Takaho is 48. Happy birthday to Dina Seeger of Summers Point. Happy birthday, Dina. Ben Benjamin Garfinkel Jr. of Mays Landing is 47. April Ellie of Beach Haven West is 60. Happy birthday, Karen Howard of Atlantic City. And Trisha Walk of Millville has a birthday. Happy birthday, Trisha. Happy birthday. You almost have my mom's name. Almost. Completely. It's a fantastic story, That's Donna. why I was like, wait, what's your name? If we yeah. miss you, happy one to you as well. The recipient of our Cat Country Big Birthday shout-out today. Matthew Blaker of Seaville. Matt 3 or you can hit the Cat Country 1073 app from the pull down menu. There's a Joe and John of voicemail. You can leave us a 10 second voicemail. We'll play that on the radio as well. And you can do that anytime. And then in the meantime, we have some big medical news. Apparently, Jana, a part of your body is doing something. We had no idea it was already doing something. Why are you in doing the, this? My, the, my body's business? Yeah. Um. <laughs> It turns out that a part of your body can do something that you had no idea it could do. Oh, like not me specifically. Yes, Jana. Okay. This time we're not talking about no. you specifically. <laughs> you mean like the earth? I'm like talking about humans. the common you. Yes. Yeah, got it. It turns out your tongue 
Okay. Is actually doing something you had no idea it was doing. Wiggling? Cleaning? Your tongue can smell things. Like a snake? No, your tongue can smell things. Is, doesn't that, doesn't, don't snakes smell things I don't know. With I don't, does, we're not talking about snakes. We're talking about human beings. I'm asking. When researchers at Monell Chemical si- Senses Center grew human taste cells in a lab, they discovered that the taste cells uh-huh. had molecules that are found in olfactory cells. Those cells in the nose, which are responsible for your sense of smell. Scientists introduced the cultured taste cells to odor molecules. The cells responded the same way the olfactory cells do. It was the first time ever that scientists found that olfactory senses sensors in human taste cells. So you can really smell with your, with tongue. your tongue. Here's what you join us for another edition of Strip Club or Daycare coming up in a little while. And at 820, of course, we have your first of 10 chances today to win cash on Cash Cow on Cat Country 107.3. In the meantime, it's Free Speech Friday. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Only in America. You can call us and say anything you want on the radio. We'll give you 10 seconds to say anything, as long as you don't swear, oh, you don't slander anyone there. by name, and oh. you don't talk politics, because we think politics are boring. Yes. 609-383-1073, or you can go to the Cat Country 107.3 app on the pull-down menu on the left. There's a button there that says, leave Joe and John a voicemail, and you can record your 10-second message there. That's how easy it is. And we can play it for you. So, Free Speech Friday, let's get started. Hi, Cat Country, what's your name, and where are you calling from? My name is Anthony McConey, and I'm from Galloway, New Jersey. Anthony, you have 10 seconds. Go. Happy Friday, everybody. Have a blessed day. Start your day off positively, and let's uh, make the world better together. 3107.3 Mornings with Joe and John. Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome to our show our little friend, Phil. Hi, Phil. Phil. Hi, Phil. Hi, Mr. Kelly, and hello, Miss Jana. How are you? How are you? We're, we're good. And yourself? <laughs> My singing through them all. Obviously, I'm wonderful. Yes, you, the, 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 the little uh, at the end was a little bit much. Yeah. Phil, yeah. I'm I struggling. Little... I need to go above and beyond anywhere I can today. So, okay. Phil, Phil, she lost her. She left her wristlet at home. Oh, I was so bad. And she's very upset. I was so upset. Oh, no. And then I've left my glasses you at can, home, you can my do Apple I, Watch. You can do what I did and say, what's a wristlet? <laughs> Okay. It's like my purse. It's like I left my purse at home. I don't know why you don't just call it a purse. Because it's not a purse. It's a wristlet. <laughs> All right. Let's move on. Strip club okay. or daycare is what we got today, Phil. You ready to play? Oh, I'm scared, but yes, thanks. All right. Here we go. We can start with number one. How's that? Okay. Daddy Rabbits in Richmond, Virginia. It's D-A-D-D-Y. Second word is rabbit. R-A-B-B-I-T, a positive yes. Daddy Rabbits in Richmond, Virginia. Strip club or daycare? Jonna has locked in her answer. What do you think, Phil? We're not going down that rabbit hole for the strip club. Thank you. <laughs> strip club? I said strip club. Yes, please. You're both correct. Yes. All right, number two. Could you imagine a daycare called Daddy Rabbits? No, hey. thank you. Number two. Not my kid. Number two, Atlanta, Georgia. The Pink Pony. The Pink Pony oh, in okay. Atlanta, Georgia. Well, strip club or daycare? Jonna has locked in her answer. Yeah. Here what do you think, Phil? Why, why am I seeing an odd theme in today's <laughs> strip club or daycare, Joseph? From rabbits to ponies. <laughs> the pink pony. Yes. Oh. I would say if it was a pink elephant, we'd have a better shot at a strip club. But let's stick to, because young little ladies always like ponies, so we're going to go oh. take care. No, it's a strip club. It's a strip club. Yes. Oh. John takes it two to nothing, or two to one lead. Please, Horrible. I need a win today. Like, just one. Horrible little bald logic, huh? All right. We got one more. It's in Atlanta, Georgia. Oh, okay. another one in Atlanta, yeah. Georgia. Second entry from Atlanta, Georgia. It's called Magic City. Magic City. Magic City in Atlanta, Georgia. Here Ta-da. Jana is locked in her answer. What's that? No animals? Uh, I don't know. All I know is that it's called Magic City. I, I would have preferred the Magic City soon, but okay. Oh, that would have been good. <laughs> Magic City, Magic Mike dances. Sure. Magic City, strip club. It is absolutely a strip club. You That's are up. correct. All of our entries today were strip clubs. By a score of 3-2, to two, Jana is our big winner in oh. strip club or daycare on Cat Country 107.3. Congratulations. It's, it is a little heartwarming, and I'm, a, I'm embarrassed to say that it's a... Uh, that that's it, why, it that's why I find today. strip clubs heartwarming. <laughs> yeah. Or just warming. Uh, or just warming. Ew. The, ew. The Bill, any, any, any big plans for the weekend? No. That, that warm, fuzzy feeling? No. Thank you. Yeah, there you go. Joe took it there, not me. I didn't take anything. I believe, anyway. there's, I believe there's a cream that'll get rid of that, Joseph. Good mornings with Joe and John. Some late breaking news concerning. Wait, 
We can't hear this. Hold on, let me do this so we can hear this. Late, uh, let, like let's it? try it again. Late breaking news. Oh, she is. That's the theme to Miss America. But our late breaking news is not actually about Miss America. It's about Miss USA. But I don't, I don't know what the Miss USA theme is. So <laughs> Me we'll either. That. We will the look folks, that up later. The folks in Miss USA have decided to be a little politically correct, apparently. Okay. And they're changing the rules to who can compete in Miss USA. Did no. I say Miss America? I meant you Miss USA. No, no, no. You said Miss USA. Big changes coming to the Miss USA competition. I feel like we're all about to get really mad. You ready? No, but go what, ahead. In order to be Miss USA, what, what would you be the regulations? You need to be a lady. It, you need to not be married, right? Oh, that's Because it's Miss. Yeah. It's not Mrs. Oh, I it's thought. not Ms. Maybe that's not where it's I Miss thought you were going America. Okay. Yes. But uh, for the first time ever, the Miss America competition will welcome adult women of all ages, marital statuses, and parental, uh, parental statuses. So you can be in any America. So it's my Miss, time. Any oh, USA. wait. No, I'm not married either. You're, you're, yeah. you, <laughs> I could still do it. You could, you could still do it right now. Yeah. Even without the rule change. There I am. But yes. Here comes John. Yes. So. Look for me. Not Miss America, but Miss USA. You no longer have to actually be a Miss. You still can't have a PB of the male variety. Yes. But you can still. You can be, you can be Miss USA if you're. You can have a ball and chain. Yes. You can't have a, yeah, well, you just said. You can have have an awful husband and still be Miss USA. So there you go. Now's your time. This has been the best news ever, hasn't (laughs) it? If you could win, if you would like to win $30,000 in cash. I'm pretty sure that's everybody, so. But don't raise your hand while you're driving. No, I asked them to raise their hand while you're driving. I'm saying don't. Because it's, what else are you going to do with your hand? Come on, raise it higher. No. Open the sunroof. Put it through the sunroof. It's cold out. Don't do that. $30,000, the top prize in cash cow. Powered by NJTrimClinic.com, your number one source for semaglutide weight loss injections in South Jersey. Ten cash winners today. First chance to win cash cow right at 820, unless we forget and it'll be at 823. Yeah, but uh, it's soon. It's coming up soon. It's Cat Country 107.3. Don't miss it. We're human. We forget sometimes. Yes. That's why we're not robots. We're not AI. Sorry about it. Roll into town, step off the bus, shake off the where you came from, dust. Grab your guitar, walk down the street, sign says Nashville, Tennessee. But I have found, it's a crazy town full of neon dreams. Everybody plays, everybody sings, Hollywood with a touch of twang. To be a star, you gotta bang, 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 in those strings till the hang. All the drunk girls scream and shout We love it, we hate it We're all just trying to make it In this crazy town Pay your dues and you play for free And you pray for a honky tonk death to me Cut your teeth in the smoky bars and live off the tips from a pick with your tips. Find a cool new sound. And you smile when the record band shoots you down. It's a crazy town full of neon dreams. Everybody plays, everybody sings. Hollywood with a touch of twang. Be a star, you gotta bang, bang, bang. Bend no strings till the hang comes out. Make all the drums. To be a star, you gotta bend those strings till the hang comes out. Make all the drunk girls scream and shout. We love it, we hate it, we're all just trying to make it. We love it, we hate it, we all came here to make it. In this crazy town.
This is the Cat Country Morning Show with Joe and Jana. WPUR Atlantic City is Cat Country 107.3, a town square media station serving South Jersey and available on the Cat Country 107.3 app. Good morning. We're Joe and Jana here this morning. A Millville man arrested after a stabbing inside the showboat in Atlantic City Wednesday night. 20-year-old Marquise Cotman of Millville charged with aggravated assault. Mm. The man he reportedly stabbed was bleeding heavily when police arrived. That man was taken to the hospital. He's expected to survive his wounds. Mm-hmm. Well, that's good at least. Store officials are saying that the Goodwill store in Egg Harbor Township will reopen next month in May. The store was the scene of a fire back in January. No one was injured, thank God, but the fire destroyed all the all the store's merchandise. In the first round of the NFL draft last night with the 22nd pick, the Philadelphia Eagles selected Quinion Mitchell, a cornerback from Toledo. Nice. South Jersey weather, sunny in 58 today. Coming up, Cash Cow is up for grabs. Everything you need to know to win the cash about 10 minutes away on Cat Country 107.3. Cat Country 107.3. Mornings with Joe and John. Time now for my favorite tweets for the last 24 hours. All right, here we go. There are five of them. Number one, my vision board I'd made for this year spontaneously caught fire last night. wonder what that means. Number two, how's my day going? Well, I've been thinking it was still the month of March all day. It's almost, the uh, it's almost May. I, yeah. Number three, getting arrested for impersonating a priest. Hey, I know my rights. R-I-T-E-S. Rights. Go get yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Number four, friend, how was your job interview? Me. I think I hugged him too long. Oh. Ah. <laughs> We're Joe and John. These are my favorite tweets. Last one, number five. Marriages are a lot like credit cards. At first, it's all stripped down facing me, but then eventually it's pretty much contactless. <laughs> now with us today, are you ready to play? In a moment, we're going to give you a three-digit code. You're going to go to the Cat Country 107.3 app. You're going to open it up. There's a button there on the app that says Win Cash. You're going to type in the code that we're going to give you. We have 10 codes today, every hour, from now through 520, 20 minutes past every hour. That's 10 chances for you to win up to $30,000. Here we go. Code number one, three, nine, six. Three nine six. I don't know why, but that I like that number. I like the way that number. Well, we looks. we prepared it especially for you, Jana. Thank three you. nine three, six. Three nine six. I I don't know. I just whatever. I like it. Whatever. It's sequential, like three six. Yeah, but three nine oh, six. Sequential. It, 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 I think maybe, that's the opposite of sequential. It, three nine prime. six. They're all prime numbers. So uh, they're, how about they're all numbers? Well, that's they're all true. single digit numbers. They are, but still, making up a three digit number. For whatever number. reason, it's just pleasing to me. Three I'm nine glad. six. I don't know how to how, how to explain it. Three nine six. You're gonna type it. Type it in on the win cash button. Joe's, Joe's God, I'm glad his it's eye. Friday. Joe's rubbing his eyes. I get it's, a two two day reprieve. That's so rude. It's the win <laughs> cash button, and you're gonna type it in three nine six. You're gonna be on your way to thirty k. We'll have your next code in an hour from right now. Three nine six. Joe and Jana, have you ever been overseas lately? Uh, Renee Redmond and his wife had a magical trip to Switzerland. Never gave it a second thought to uploading lots of photos, sending plenty of text messages from his phone to his family. No. After the couple returned to their Florida home, his cell phone bill arrived arrived from T-Mobile. Yeah. Ready? $143,442.74. I'm Including nine and a half gigabytes of international roaming data. I'm going to... Remen said he had been told by an employee at a T-Mobile store of his travel plans. He told the employee of his travel plans. He said the T-Mobile employee said, oh, don't worry, you're covered. After getting the bill, Remen called customer service, who told him, nope, this is a pretty good bill. Wow. (laughs) $143,000 phone bill. How much were you sending? He ended up hiring an attorney to write letters to T-Mobile, which ignored them. The attorney called a TV station to ask that they cover the story days later. Thankfully, someone from T-Mobile called Redmond and offered to credit his account for the entire amount. Whoa, 